Yo, 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 it's Big Ant the Spokesman, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in Tampa, Florida, Rolly Bands. Uh, first and foremost, let me say condolences to his entire family, loved ones, friends, everybody close to him, and most definitely his young precious daughter, who was going to grow up without a father now after this news hit. Now, I'm going to tell y'all like this, bro. It'll be different reports coming out. I cannot get confirmation on everything. But what I can say is somebody went online, looked at his Instagram story, and he was most definitely inviting all the bullshit before his death. Now, I'm going to tell you like this right here, bro. We all humans, my nigga. We all get emotional. Some people level as higher than others. Some people level as lower than others when it comes to emotions. Some niggas don't get on their phone, but in this era right here of the cell phones, where everybody doing everything on their Wrangler, everybody on their line, you can put all your emotions on Twitter, your Instagram story. You can kind of front your move. And you showing niggas that you underestimate them if it went down like that. Because he got killed outside of his apartment. It could have been anything, but... The storylines, and I'm going to read the actual like write-up of the scene in a second, but the storyline is he told the ops, pop out, pull up. Y'all know where I'm at. A lot of these niggas know where I live at for real. I sleep in peace. If a nigga won't smoke, I'm at my crib in five minutes. That sounds like you underestimate niggas and calling they bluff. And we not going to kick dog. He resting. His soul is gone, but we going to teach off this situation. We see this time and time again. Niggas going live, dissing the ops. We see niggas uh, calling the ops bluff. I'm going to tell you like that. That ain't nothing but a nigga underestimating another nigga. And I ain't underestimating no nigga in today's world, my nigga. You want to know why? Scary nigga shoot. It don't, hey, you ain't got to be no real gangster to kill no nigga. You know how many niggas that's dead that's not real that got killed by somebody who wasn't a real gangster? It got white people that kill people that ain't gangsters. All type of niggas. Nigga, anybody put a hole in your ass. That's why I don't fuck around with the fuck around. My brothers are not my ops. I might be having a disagreement with one of my brothers, one of my people that look like me, but y'all ain't my ops. I'm not finna make you feel like you gotta come pop out on me and gun me down, nigga. Because I believe these niggas would do it. We see it time and time again online. True, he's not a mainstream rapper. He's not a popping rapper. But guess what? If you putting up music on streaming sites, you shooting music videos, nigga, in today's world, you are a rapper. But guess what also, nigga? If you are hopping online, telling niggas pop out, you are now an op to them. That's how they living. See, I just go off of what niggas show me. I'm not going to try to decipher, figure this out. If you show me something, I believe you, nigga. I stay out your way. I don't want no nigga to feel like, hey, I'm testing his motherfucking gangster because he going to do it to you in today's world. The nigga you sleep on the most, the nigga you underestimate the most, that a nigga that'll take you the fuck out the motherfucking game, nigga. And that's how this shit work every single goddamn time. Time and time again on live, giving up locations. You give up that location, heaven might be your next destination or hell. Hopefully he went to heaven. But this is what the write-up said. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office is investigating a shooting that left one man dead outside an apartment complex in Tampa Friday afternoon. According to ACO, an adult man was shot in the parking lot at IQ Apartments around 3.30 p.m. on July 22nd. Deputies said when they arrived, they learned the suspects had driven away from the scene in an unknown direction. HCSO said the victim was transported to a local hospital where he later died. Authorities said the shooting does not appear random and it appears the victim and the suspect possibly knew each other. They didn't already put two and two together. Don't seem random. He had this on his Instagram story. I can't solve crimes from the cell phone, but classic case of I, what's going on in the culture right now. Now, I do also want to say this, bro. We do have a problem with black-on-black -black crime and we need to cut the shit out. That's a fact. Some shit is already up to the point where it ain't no return. But don't ever think 
that black on black crime is the number one cause of death in our community. It is not, it is heart disease, but that ain't no excuse for us to get out here and start killing and drilling. I'm just saying, don't fall for the imagery because stories like this make headlines. I gotta just put that disclaimer in there because that other shit is what they use to make people think that we are animals and savages and this is what we always got going on. We do gotta tighten up and get better. Condolences to Rolly Bands. And tell me what y'all think in the comment section. One thousand. Stay on your pivot for shit show.